Hi guys, welcome back to Bible Way Church Kids Connect, where we read, learn, and explore more about God the kids way. Tonight we're going to talk about the creation, how God created the heavens and the earth. Do you know what the word creation means? It means to make something, to put something together, to make things happen for yourself. Um, let's just say if you wanted to make um, a special card for someone and you might want to put some stars on it or some glue on it, some glitter on it, you're creating something. So that's what we mean when we say creation. So tonight we're going to talk about how God created the heavens and the earth. At the very beginning, in the very beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. There was no light. It was completely dark. So on the first day, God said, let there be light. And there was light. We call the light day and the dark night. And God looked around and he said, this is good. This was day one. On day two, God put the waters into the sea and the clouds in the sky. On day three, God was particularly busy. He made dry land, mountains, hills, and valleys. Then God created oceans, lakes, rivers, and streams. After all this, God said, let the earth be green, that grass, flowers, and trees grow. All at once, everything popped out. There was grass, there was trees, and the flowers sprang up. And God saw it, and he said, this is good. On day four, God said, there should be light in the sky. That will help divide up the time. It will divide up the hours, the days, the months, and the years. So God put the sun in the sky to warm the earth. He saw the night was very dark, so God created the moon and the stars in the sky. Then he made spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And that was day four when God finished his work. It was all good. So on day five, God said, let there be living creatures. So he made all sea creatures jellyfish, sharks, turtles, shellfish, flatfish, and crabs. Every shape, every size, and swimming things. And God created all the birds, the insects, the eagles, the sparrows, the hummingbirds, the wasps, the flies, and the bees. Every shape and size of flying things. And God saw it was all Good. That was day five. Did you know that God created the bees? How about do you think God created butterflies? God created all things. On day number six, God said, let there be living things on land too. So he created dogs, horses, camels, lions, lizards, snails, worms, and warthogs. Hmm. And God saw that it was very, very good. You think God created some pigs too, maybe? Some cows? God created all the animals. But God thought, hmm, something is still missing. There were no people. 
No people? Hmm. So, God said, now I must make humans. You know what? Humans are people. So God created the first man, Adam. And then he created the first woman, Eve. Now God took the dust of the land and he rolled it together and that's how he created a man. And again, this man's name was Adam. And then from Adam, this is a very special part, he took a rib out of Adam and he made Eve. And Eve is a woman, which means of man. So that's how God created a man and a woman. God made them all by himself, and he wanted them to be like him. So they could be friends, they could start families, and God told Adam and Eve, let your families begin so they can spread all over the earth. Then God Adam added, it is your job to take care of the fish and the birds and all the creatures that we've created. After he had created the first humans, God looked at everything that he had made. It was very good. Now that I've finished what i come to do, he said, on day seven, God rested. And that's how God created the heavens and the earth. So in seven days, God created the heavens and the earth. He created a lot of things during that time. That's because he is God and he can do any and everything. So thank you for learning about the creation tonight and how God created the heavens and the earth. So we're going to close in prayer. I need you to bow your heads. Dear God, we thank you for this day. Lord, we thank you for your creations, Lord, for creating the animals, the heavens, the earth, and for creating us, Lord. We thank you for making me who I am, and we thank you for making all those out there who they are, Lord. We thank you for the children, the mommies, the daddies, and all the families. And Lord God, we ask you to look upon our world right now as we're going through this time of the virus, Lord, we thank you because we know that you're able to take care of everyone that's sick, everyone that is working, everyone that is doing whatever they can do to help with the virus. Lord, we thank you. We love you. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us here at Bible Way Church of Sumter, Kids Connect, and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Thank you.